The purpose of this video is to talk to you about the science of motivation. Look, we've all been there, right? We feel unmotivated, we feel like we can't do something. So what do we do? We go on YouTube and we watch a video that's gonna give us what we perceive as some level of inspiration, right? We listen to someone speaking and we think the answer is there. And, and most of those videos are actually great, right? They're composed very well and they give us that hit. It's almost like a quick drug that's gonna instantly open something within us in that moment and get us to take action, or at least get us to think deeply. Now, the reason I'm talking to you about the subject is because my question that I always ask is how can we sustain motivation, right? How do we open it up within us and have it out consistently rather than having to go to some video when we're feeling down? How do we have consistent motivation? Now, a lot of us, I think, we've all watched that movie called Limitless. And if you haven't watched it, I suggest you do. It's actually a great movie where there is a drug that was made that enabled someone to be in a high state of productivity, focus, and motivation. Now, call me a freak, but how do we become that without using a drug, right? What can we do right now to elicit that motivation within us that's going to be sustained? And I believe we have to take a step back. I also believe we have to get rid of that word motivation. And we have to go into what I like to call self-discovery mode. Now I know that's a longer term, so it's harder to say. And the reason I call it self-discovery mode is because motivation is simply a mirror into who you really are, right? If we all know what motivates each and every one of us, we all understand what's going on inside of our psyche. We know what's going on inside of our mind. We know what our values are. That's where the subject is going. What are your values? What do you value the most? Because once we understand what you value the most, we're going to understand what motivates us, right? We're going to understand who we really are based on what we value the most. You see, because a motivation video, or if you go to someone who you think is going to give you the answer, that's a moment in time where you think I need someone external to give me an answer or I need to watch something to bring that out of me. It's that, it's that aspect of thinking I need something to get it out of me. Whereas it's already within you. You already have those values set up. You just need to go into self-discovery mode and understand who you really are and be in sync with that. That's how you will sustain long-term motivation. Now, I know you're watching this and saying, yeah, but you're a guy telling me this. I'm just the guy speaking, right? I'm just here to give you the idea. You're the one that's gonna discover, and I'm here to help you. You know, I, I wish I can help you and be there for you to do it, and that's what I'm here to do. So let's get right into the practicality. How can we apply this? So the first thing we've gotta understand is, okay, understanding what our deepest motivations are, what are our deepest values, meaning, what are the intangibles that move us? Stick with me here for a second, focus. What are the intangibles that move us, right? Because we all think we want that big house. We all think we want that big car. We're so motivated to get that when in fact, that is just the physical appearance of the intangible we want to get. You see, we perceive by having that car, we're going to get freedom. We're going to get love. We're going to get attention, which is a form of love. You see, everything that we want has a level of intangibility that we're trying to achieve, that we're trying to want, right? So for example, if I say that I want to earn a lot of money, that's fantastic. Go for it. My question is, what do you think that money is going to give you, right? By having a lot of money, what is that going to give you? Now, go for it. Go get the big money. And what is that going to give you? Because what happens is when you wake up in the morning and you're trying to go after that big money, you're trying to go after that big house, you're trying to go after that big car, there is an underlying motivation as to what feeling it's going to give you, right? Because when you get a new car, when you get a new house, and we've all had this, right? We get something and you're, we're ecstatic, we're happy. We're like, for that day, that week, that month, we're ecstatic, we're so happy. Then we get into what's called the law of familiarity where we get bored of. That's why we have industries dedicated to selling the new, 
right? It's always about this product is new. This is the biggest and newest product. Now my question is, do we need the newest products? Right, like do we actually need the latest and newest products? Now in some instances, yes. But in most instances, we can stick to the basics and get what we truly need. Right? But it's that want that we're always trying to jump after. Right? We always want that want. We always want that feeling of new. So why do we want that feeling of new? We've got to go deeper into finding out what's missing. What does new represent for you? What's buying that car represent for you? What, what does money represent for you? It's, un, it's, it's like they say, peeling the onion back. Right? Peeling it back saying, what does that represent for you? Once we can understand what in depth, what each physical product or thing that you want, what does it mean in depth? the intangible, what it's going to get you in here and in here. That's when we'll know your truest motivation. And that's when we can all motivate ourselves. We can motivate each other without needing someone to go outside of ourselves and saying, I need to do this or I need to get this far, I need to get that. No, you sit and you focus on growing yourself and you focus on, well, what's my truest intangible drivers? Right, so if there's anything you can take from this today, write down these questions right there. Okay, what am I truly motivated by? Specifically, the intangibles. What feelings do I want to feel on a regular basis? Right? And what right now, what actions am I taking that may be destructive, that may be hurtful and harmful, where I'm perceiving that I'm going to get that intangible feeling? Right? And what are my values? What do I value the most? What do I value the most in the area of career and business? What do I value the most in the area of relationships? What do I value the most in the area of health? What do I value the most in life? And what can I do to get more of that without having destructive behaviors? Right. So I would say this is where the idea of self-discovery, getting into self-discovery mode comes from is not just trying to get motivation from out there, but trying to get motivation from in here by knowing yourself, by knowing your psyche, your mind, your behavior, and your own emotions, and living a life based on your own terms. Thank you for watching. If you know anybody that can benefit from this message, go ahead and share this video with them. Listen, go ahead and subscribe if you want to know more about human psychology, behavior, and emotions. And comment down below, what do you think motivates you the most? What is it that makes you wake up every day and take action on the projects, tasks, and work that you do? Thank you again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Hey, that's that car. I haven't seen that car in ages.